Hey y'all, I want to come and share with you my Halo braid that I use while still using Shea Bay. I just wanted to try something different because I was tired of wearing wigs, so this is what I came up with. So I'm using Konecalon hair. Um, basically, you can use any Marley braid hair or you can use the 99 cent pack hair and just braid the entire length of the pack that you got. I only use one pack. Just braid it to the end and don't braid it tight. Just braid it really loosely so that you'll be able to pull it down over your plaits if your hair is like mine because I have four big plaits. So braid it all the way to the end. Once you braid one side down all the way to the end, you want to flip it and braid the other side all the way down to the end. And so I just decided to try the halo braid because like I said, I was tired of wearing wigs and I just wanted to also show you guys that you can still have some styling options and versatility even when using the Shea Bay. So I have in the Shea Bay powder and the Shea Bay butter in my hair. So you can see that it will, you know, work with either one of those. If you guys have any suggestions of styles that you want me to try, just let me know and I will try to experiment with them. I've already tried cornrows with, you know, the synthetic braiding hair and it worked fine. I wore those for a month and my hair stayed moisturized and I was still able to use Shea Bay while in that style. So once you get done braiding your pack of hair all the way up, then you want to apply your Shea Bay, which is what I did. That's why I was dancing because I was able to get my hair done really, really quick, like maybe 30 minutes. But yeah, it was done really quick when normally it takes me about three hours. So I was really excited. But then you want to grab some bobby pins and place them to hold down your plaits in your hair. And you basically just want to make them lay as flat as possible so you may have to play with the placement of your plaits to get them to lay flat but just basically circle them around your head and pin them down and make sure your bobby pins are in a good position so that they don't hurt your um, head after wearing them for a long time because this halo braid I kept in my hair for a whole entire week without doing any extra work taking anything down putting anything back up I just put a bonnet on every night and took it off in the morning. I was ready to go. So, yeah, you just have to play with the placement. Um, make sure that your plaits are kind of placed far back. How I said I usually place them for wigs to make my wigs lay flat. You want to kind of use that same guide when you are using or if you're going to try the halo braid. You want, them, you want your plaits to kind of be placed far back so they'll lay flat if you pull them. So basically once you get your hair 
itself pinned down. You just want to place the braided hair that you got on top of it. And the reason that I told you to braid it loose is so that you can pull and pull it over your circle that you made with your real hair. So that's what you see me doing. Just, you know, checking to make sure that it's going to cover my real hair all the way and not show. So basically I just place it on top, spread the braid out a little bit more, like puff it out and then pin it down so that it covers my real hair. So this is the final look after I added in some embellishments. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.